Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video. Today I'm going to be using these really fun products from Lawn Fawn, the Magic Messages stamp set, and then this die set with the sun to create a very simple and easy card. I'm not going to be using any special cardstock colors today. I'm going to be doing all of the color with watercolor. So I have two sheets of Fabriano Artistico Extra White Watercolor Paper taped to a board, and I'm going to be using my Magello Mission Gold watercolors to paint some yellow backgrounds. Now I wanna use this yellow color up here at the top, but you can see there's red in the well. Super easy to clean this up. I don't ever let it stress me out. Just add a little bit of water on top, let it kinda of clean up that area, and then take a paper towel and dab away any of that extra color that is not the yellow. So that color is all cleaned up now and I can get a pure color mix down on my palette. I'm going to be using this color today. It's a nice bright sunshine yellow and I'm also going to be using this orange shade. Um, it's not quite a red orange. It's a little more on the yellow side. I think these look great together. I'm going to wet my watercolor paper, saturate that with water so that I can do a very soft background. I don't want any harsh edges on this background. Using a large paintbrush to drop in some of that yellow color and just dabbing it around. I've sped up the video so I can get through this a little bit faster, but basically I'm just putting a mix of the orange and the yellow and making sure I cover the entire area. The, co the colors weren't spreading as much as I wanted, so I spritzed it with a water bottle and then used my heat tool to speed along the drying process. Super easy background. For this other piece of watercolor paper, I'm taking a three quarter inch flat brush and I'm, I'm painting on some stripes. Try to make them as straight as possible, but they could be a little wonky, it's okay. And after I used that yellow shade for a few stripes, then I grabbed a little bit of that orange and just added it to different areas on the stripes just to get a little bit of a variation in color. And I went, I took that brush over the area to soften it out some more because I didn't want any harsh lines of color. This is just going to give some variation in shading on this stripe background. And this stripe background is going to be used as the main area on the card. Um, you could definitely use pattern paper instead if you're not feeling up to watercoloring, but this is a really great way to make sure all of the colors on your card match. Just paint them all individually. After everything was dry, I removed the watercolor pieces from my board, and I'm going to take that die and out of my more solid background, I'm going to die cut that sun shape. And it looks absolutely beautiful, but when I place it on top of my stripes, I noticed that it kind of got a little bit lost. So we'll address that in a bit. In the meantime, I'm going to cut down my striped watercolor paper so that it is four and a half by four and a half. I'm going to be creating a five by five square card today. So this is going to be just a little bit smaller than my finished size card creating my card base out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock, cut to five by 10 and then scored at five inches to create a top folding card. I put foam adhesive on the back of the striped watercolor panel and then press that directly down onto the front of my card. So now I'm going to uh, kind of change up this sun shape. I'm first going to lay down a tonic easy clean mat so I can do a little bit of ink blending onto the edges of my sun shape, the sun frame, so that I can have that kind of stand out away from the stripes. I have a Lawn Fawn ink color here. This is called Fake Tan. It's the most perfect orange. And I'm just very lightly blending on a little bit of that color on the edges. I'm using a blender brush from Honey Bee and it's going to give me just a little bit more color on those edges so that that sun shape stands out from the striped background. I'm gonna test it out, put that right on top. Looks great. So I'm gonna move on and adhere this die cut to the front of my card. Uh, you could definitely use some smaller bits of foam tape, but just to make it easier on myself, I trimmed my foam tape so that it was more narrow, removed the release paper, 
And then that allows me to manipulate that foam tape and bend it around the circular shape. Now, if you wanted to make this card into a shaker card, this would be an excellent time to first adhere that window sheet or acetate and then put the foam adhesive down and build your shaker area. I'm not doing a shaker today, but this die would be perfect for a really fun shaker card. All right, so I've got my foam on my frame and I put that directly on the front of my card. And now I'm gonna work on the greeting. So I'm gonna go back to that stamp set that I showed you guys at the beginning called Magic Messages. And I'm stamping one of the greetings in Versifying Onyx Black Ink. This greeting says, Hello Sunshine. So it's perfect for this card. And I'm going to be using um, a circle die to cut out this greeting here. It's the perfect size to go over that sun shape. I'm using my Simus' Stamp Nested Circle dies. Uh, Lawn Fawn also has lots of circle dies that would work. I trimmed that out with my die cutting machine and then I'm going to adhere it to the front of my card. Now remember that the sun frame is on one layer of foam tape and this center greeting area is going to go in the center and I didn't want it to be flush with that uh, sun shape die cut. So I'm doing two layers of foam tape and that's just going to pop that greeting up out of the center of the card and give it a little bit more dimension. So I doubled up on my foam tape and then I'm going to use some tweezers to get this circle on here just perfectly. And you won't even be able to tell that it was a frame, but it's just another way to use it. My card's almost done, but then I decided that I wanted one more element of black. That black greeting was so stark and standing out to me that I decided to add a black frame on the outer edge of the striped watercolor background. So I did a double stripe with a ruler and a black marker. I just used a 0.5 Copic multiliner, but you could use any pen for this. This is the final bit of the card, so it doesn't even need to be waterproof. So here's my super easy and simple card using some Lawn Fawn products. Hello sunshine, yes, bring the sunshine. I am ready for spring. Thanks so much for watching today. Um, you can get all the supplies I used today listed at the links down below in the video description or in the supply section of my blog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with another card video.